In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating inside text effects or graphics effects or effects to the inside of our text and graphics. Very easy to do and you can create some really nice looks and effects using these techniques and they're really easy to work with. To get started, I'll go ahead and select my text. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Then I'll go ahead and paste that back in. I'm going to come over here to my outline and I'll change that to 12. And I'm going to come over here and right click and change that to white. And you can see we've got this black set up as being thinner. I'm actually going to go ahead and change this to 14. So I'll just put a 4 here and hit enter. Make that just a little bit thinner. I'm going to come over here to my object properties. And I'm going to come over here to textures. Now if you can't see this, you can click on the little arrow and then come down here and you'll get textures. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this with the edit fill. And I'm going to change this light from blue to black and select OK. I'm going to go to my interactive fill tool and make this a little bit bigger and bring it over so that it's not seeming on any of my text. I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'll go bitmap, convert to bitmap. I'm going to go with a grayscale. Don't need a transparent background, select OK. Then we go, let's say bitmaps, and we'll come down here to color transform. We'll go to halftone. Set this out to a max dot radius of 10, and our black set at 22. Go ahead and select OK. Then I'll go to bitmap mode, and I'll go to black and white. Line art, I'll set my threshold to about 28 and select OK. Over here and left click on the X to take my background out, right click to make my foreground white with the monochrome bitmap, and we can see that effect. Now one of the things I can do is I can actually dress this up a little bit more, make it a little bit more, I guess you could say, interesting. I'll hold down Alt and I'll select the vector text in back and I'll fill that with, let's say, a gray just so I can see it. Then I'll click again to select my monochrome bitmap. I'll change that with a right click to black. And I'll go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap. Transparent background is going to be very important. If I don't do that, I'm not going to get a good monochrome conversion when I go back to monochrome. Select OK and then I'll come down here to say bitmaps. Go to blur. This time I'll go with, say, a motion blur. Get a really different look there. And you can change this with this dial here. And I'll bring this up this way and take a look and see what we get there. Go ahead and select OK. I'm happy with that. Then I'll go ahead and go back to bitmaps, mode, black and white, and select OK. Over here and left click for a transparent background. Change my foreground with a right click to white. Hold down Alt. Change my vector text back to black. And we can see that really cool effect built into that text or into the inside of the text. So you can see we can create some really cool design effects with looks for our text, really useful in things like racing designs or distress and grunge text looks, things like that. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.